Okay, today's exciting because we're finally getting to breed someone. We're breeding Trudy, but before we did that, um, we had to check Cool and Indy because we're also trying to breed Cool and use Indy as her recipient. We want Indy to carry a baby for Cool and then Cool have a second one. So Cool measured at a 3.9 centimeter uh, follicle today, which is great. That means she is like ready to breed. We are gonna try to order semen and have it here tomorrow. So we will be filming that. And Indy is also at a 3.8 centimeter, which is good. So follicle wise, they look great. The only problem we're seeing, Beyonce. The only problem we're seeing, and it's not necessarily a problem, this might not hinder anything, but because it is so early in the year, their um, uteruses don't look um, quite like as receptive as they do later in the spring. So they don't have a whole lot of edema and there's like a whole lot of stuff going on there. Um, maybe I'll have him explain more about that tomorrow when we're breeding them. So that was what we started out with. And then we are gonna go breed Trudy. She's a good looking baby right here. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna wait to see how mean she gets before I breed back to her daddy. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's nicer than she was a week ago. But um, her daddy's older. I would like to get at least one more baby with her, but the foal that she had with this stallion is like, that's the one that we vet checked when we sold him. He's doing like real good. Come on, big boat. I think we let her get a little too sleepy. Don't you kick me, woman. Do you mind coming and holding her sure. so I can? Sure. Oh. I'll let you in and then I'll close this. You can't have milk right now. Your mom is busy. Gonna get that tail out of the way and we are filming for a longer video. Going with the attitude. Let me go ahead and get this opened. So this is good, better, best semen. So we bred to him one year um, and that is who she had her first foal with. So we didn't have to do counter to counter. Counter to counter is when you do on an airplane for same day. So we will be doing that tomorrow for Cool's baby. Um, not Cool's baby, but breeding Cool. So. A lot of times they have a sheet that tells you like the motility of his sperm, how many sperm count you get, like the volume of the stuff you get and all that good stuff. So then it comes in like a little cooler. They tape it, no. They take good care of it. They put ice packs on it. Cause this was collected yesterday. Today is Thursday. So they sent one dose. Sometimes they'll send two doses, sometimes one dose. So this is one dose. So, screen grab of me with some semen. Okay. <laughs> Gotta get her all cleaned out. He's gonna put the ultrasound in there. Check it what size follicle she has, or if she's already ovulated. There's our follicle. Yeah. There's a big old follicle. Oh, where'd it go? Get a good image of it. It's on that there it is. Left side of the ovary there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, is she ready? That's beautiful. It's always nervous when you stick your arm in there if they've ovulated or not. You've got like a six hour window post ovulation to breed them. Mm -hmm. So she, she's doing good. Sweet. Just checking her uterus out. I just want to make sure she doesn't have any free fluid. I've been told to be on Penelope watch. We Keep do, your head in there. We doing a deep horn or? I, I say let's be safer than sorry and just, okay. cause she hasn't caught on the first time every time. 
So you'll see here in a second what I mean, but we are going to deep horn Trudy. Now this has nothing to do with the stallion because a lot of times stallions will tell you ahead of time, hey, you need to deep horn because of the motility or because of how many times they had to split the collection. Um, he has 80% motility. He, we got 1.5 billion sperm. I'm not worried about him. She has not taken every single time um, and that's been with multiple stallions. So I'm not so much worried about stallion. I want to be sure we get her bred and do everything we can to get her bred. So usually when they breed, they put the semen up till it has to like split to go to whichever ovary it goes to. Um, when you deep horn, you go and direct the semen to which ovary you want it to go to. You check them ahead of time, see which side they have the biggest, most mature follicle on, and then you direct the semen and actually put it on that ovary, like push it towards that ovary instead of just letting it decide. So that's what we're gonna do with her, just to be safer than sorry, because I wanna do everything we can to get this to stick this time. Um, but like I said, this is not on the stallion. This is just us being a little safer than sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, girl. Get her nice and clean. So she still has those sutures in that Dr. Nathaniel put in. Mm -hmm. When we get done breeding her and she ovulates, I'll go ahead and pull those out. Okay. Leave him alone. I send you the goat one. Look at that one. I send you, you that, send one? that one. No. If she wants to go forward, just we're all she's yeah. tied up to herself, so we just walk in there with her. Okay. I don't need a scanner. Okay, good. So we're gonna slide this up a right horn. That's where her follicle was. So her follicle's on the right ovary. So it's called the right horn. Hold that mm. for me like oh. that. Hold that needle down. Gotta hold the stuff. I'm holding 1.5 billion little good, better, bests. Okay. Thank you much. Use, no, no, just pull, hold tight. I'm gonna take that needle off and twist. I usually do that on my mouth, but I don't like to do it when I'm breathing. And there it goes in. And that nuts. That horse lives in Texas. We're breeding to him in Tennessee. Penelope, stop. She went from being mean to being too friendly. They're not gonna be here in here too much longer because Beyonce's at 313 days today. So in about a week, we're gonna put her in here and they'll have to move upstairs. But I think Penelope will like that because I think she'll like terrorizing people as they walk in. I'll check her probably, if she says, Say she ovulates tomorrow, we'll check her two weeks from Monday. Okay. So two weeks from Monday, we'll check her. So that's about day 17 and um, see if she took. No. Well, you have, you're just not on your page. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, do you want to peek at that baby's gums? Is it just me or do his knees look a little better today? I think so. I think they look better. He's just been going on very limited turnout. He's nice and pink. The boy. All right, we gotta go. All right, well, thank y'all. My phone will shut up.
So there we have it. We have our first mayor of the year bred. I'm so excited to see if she took here in about 16 to 17 days. We will check her and then we'll also check her tomorrow to see that she ovulated. Um, we will be breeding cool tomorrow. That is also exciting as well. So stay tuned for that update. If you would like, please leave a comment. I'm going to be choosing 10 of breeding questions to be answered in a next video, maybe including my vet to do some in-depth breeding questions and answering. So go ahead and drop those comments, leave a like, please subscribe. And also, if you haven't already, check out my merch store. We drop new products every two to three weeks. There's horse stuff, mini cow stuff, goat stuff, things with our brand on it. It's cool. So check it out at www.katievanslyke.net slash shop. And I'll see you in the next one.